Happy Halloween, everyone. We are in crunch time right now. More on that in a bit. But first, welcome or welcome back. This channel is shared and run by two twin sisters. So I'll be your host today's star. Today, we are going to be working on making Halloween outfits for my OCs using Roblox games, Dress to Impress, and It Girl, which I'm very excited for. So if you're interested in that, then stay tuned. First, we have Devin dressed up as Orange Blossom. Jen and I have been playing Roblox games, Roblox dress up games for years now with our younger sister as well mainly fashion famous that is what we used to play and then when dti and then it girl came on our radar a couple of months ago we took the chance to start playing and it's been really fun we don't really play a lot it's like once every like three or four weeks but yeah it's been fun so i have a lot of screenshots upon screenshots of my dti outfits and some of my it girl outfits because for so long i wanted to do a video where i recreated the outfits and so for this one we are starting with an it girl screenshot outfit this was over a month ago i think at this point and the theme was strawberry shortcake so i did orange blossom and i felt devin for the very minimal style of the original outfit she was perfect to do this for and so for in this piece and then the other two that you'll see later on in the video i first drew the outfit one for one or as close to one for one that i could and then tweaked and added new things if it came up i did this because i wanted to include more elements of various designs of orange blossoms over the years from like you know animated content dolls things like that and i wanted to do that so it's more obvious that this was orange blossom so that included the flower the hat the white underneath t-shirt and then the stripe tights um but for my version i turned the tights into high socks instead to match the a girl one and then i added a short boot from the og orange blossom design and i think that this helped break up the design from being purely just orange for the art itself i had a bit of difficulty with her skin color where i felt the highlight was a bit more yellow or green or olive like that undertone and that's because of like the the base tone of the um the highlighted color and since I like to shade with a more reddish hue for just any time I shade skin colors in general, the contrast with the base skin tone was also off. So everything was just off from each other. So I need to fix that and make a proper color profile for Devin in the future that I can work off of. And that also goes for another OC of mine that has a much lighter skin tone that actually leans more to just basically white, which also makes shading a little bit difficult. So that is for future me to get better at, but I wanted to point that out that if something looks off with the skin it's because the colors don't work too well too well together i did use the hue adjustment on procreate to kind of fix that but it didn't really work that well um for this piece and all the other ones i did not render or overpaint any of these drawings because as i'm writing the script it's actually halloween day itself i had just finished artwork 10 minutes before i wrote the script um i got the drawings to as close as finished as i possibly can where i will be proud to post them so yeah with that said we are done and here is Devin dressed up as Orange Blossom. Next, we have my favorite girl ever, Vanessa, dressed up as Daredevil, kind of. So the theme that was in DTI was Daredevil and something else. I can't remember the last half of the theme. So I went onto Pinterest and then first made a complete copy of what Matt Murdock's aka Daredevil's outfit looks like. And I really hated it in the game. And so at the last minute because I had time, I changed the pants to tights using like the patterns and then I just added a skirt and I think that it worked a lot better than that, been better than what I had before. I also did some layers with some of my favorite t-shirts, added a boot and then had a red and black hair and then mwah, voila, we had something to work with. And so like the last piece I drew, everything was one for one first and then I built on top of that. I also looked at images later during the drawing phase of Electra, and I added her thigh straps, the red wrappings, which honestly looks a bit goofy. But when I did try to remove it, I didn't like the emptiness of the arm. I could have made the arms bare and so then the straps on top of the arm would have looked a lot better. But I also like how it looks and so I don't care. And plus Vanessa is making it work, so I love that for her. I also added the iconic 
red glasses daredevil wears when he's not daredevil like when he's just regularly matte and it's kind of sitting a bit weird in this drawing i feel like i'm saying that a lot <laughs> i wanted it to be placed lower on the face uh, or i guess lower on the eyes and at first it did kind of look off and so then i was trying to figure out the placement of the glasses and then try to place it over the eyes like normal but i did like the lower look and so i played around with the eye placement to kind of offshoot that so you know in the final this is what we're working with so as this is playing out i'll explain a little bit about the crunch time that i was in or i guess technically i'm still currently in to get the video out in time which is supposed to be today because it's already halloween i was really quickly working to finish this up because you know after today it just makes no sense to post this anymore spooky season will be completely over it is currently 1 p.m as i'm writing this script and as i'm doing the voiceover it is 209 p.m and i have class in two hours on the dot because it just hit 210 so <laughs> yeah anyways it's like now or never because class is in two hours um last night i finished off a script for our commentary channel and quickly did a voiceover and edited that whole thing in like five to six hours and then i scheduled it to be released today which has been like two hours since it's been out so that was great it was a video exploring and discussing children's horror content and i really really liked the video the editing was rushed but the video is out so i made that deadline i made it and you know got it out and so now it is time to focus on these drawings and doing this video before class starts so yeah anyways here is the end product of Vanessa dressed up as Daredevil. She is rocking the look. I honestly, ah, I love Vanessa so much. Last but certainly not least, we have Felix dressed as a zombie. I recorded this gameplay on DTI and the theme was zombie apocalypse from memory, I think. This was the first time I ever used a male body type. This specific screenshot and drawing for Felix was my second round playing as with, with the male body type. The first round... <laughs> The first round, oof, we do not talk about that. It was horrible, but I certainly improved. And honestly, I already realized this when I was playing with the female body, but the male really don't have anything. So for this specific piece, I did not have an idea to go off on like when I was originally playing DTI. Unlike the first two that was based on pre-existing characters that I can look up, this wasn't. And so as I was dressing the character, I did accidentally click on an item and if you ever played DTI before there is clipping and so when I saw that the clipping was happening I immediately thought about blood and so the initial shirt that I had I made red same thing with the pants and then clipped that um, and then put some stuff on top of that to you know have it that there was blood peeking through and then after that all the pieces were put into place and for how simple this was there wasn't much within the art phase that I can build on top of. I knew that I wasn't going to make the skin all green in my drawing just because that's not something that I wanted to do. But I wanted that to still come out in some way to show the zombiness of it all. I can't really see the footage of the artwork as it's playing so I'm not sure if it's showing yet. But I first put down like green only on the face as some sort of like spray painted look. And then I really could not make that work. I did try and I just went back to using Felix's actual skin color and then rendering that. And I was like damn this is so boring it's not fun at all and so i went onto pinterest looked at some references of zombie makeup and then used that as a reference to you know figure this out and then my hands just went bro like because what i did oh my god i love the final look for his face like mwah, chef's kiss i think it just worked out in the end and when i was doing this it brought me back to when i made felix redesign video and then i hinted that i wanted to change his cinematography major within like that world of the characters in that college to a cosmetology a major so he'll be a cosmetology student so he can focus on makeup and honestly this just really helped prove to me that i should make that change and then give elijah felix's old major and just i think that would fix that the storyline problem that i was originally having in the first place moving on in the last video that i made on this channel which was like a sketchbooking spooky sketchbooking video i mentioned this kind of like condition i guess or like problem that i have on the right side of my body which affects like my neck my shoulder 
shoulder, my back, my chest, my arms, my hands, my hips, and my right leg. It is really bad. And so I did cut corners here tracing over modeling photos that I found on Pinterest. Sometimes I already cut corners with like using 3D models. But since I already had these images saved for references later, it was easier to just use that with the short amount of time that I had. And I've never done this before where I trace over modeling photos. So it was a new experience, but it it really did help. And with this pain that makes me take constant breaks multiple times a day, this was the easiest for me to do to still get the video out because I really wanted to work on it. But anyways, overall, I love this look of Felix. I don't think I... <laughs> Honestly, I do think I over I don't think I overdid it with the blood splatters like the amount of blood splatters But it might I might have overdid it a little bit with how big it is But honestly, I don't think I will change it. I don't even have the time to change it anyways But yeah, anyways, here is the final look for felix dressed as a zombie and here are all the images again at a closer look. Let me know which drawings are your favorite. I had a blast doing these. My body is in pain right now, but I'm going to push through. Uh, but I think after this, I do need a break from doing art, which is ugh, what sucks. I talked about that in the last video. I did not want that like this to happen, but I do already have another drawing almost done, like in the rendering phase. And so that should be posted soon along with a vlog. But for, you know, new art, I think I do need a rest for like almost all of November. So see y'all when i see y'all thank you so much for watching it truly means a lot check out our horror slash halloween playlist including content from this channel and our commentary channel Jen star which is also linked down below yeah have an amazing day stay safe stay cool because for some reason it is goddamn hot again um but anyways peace bye guys happy halloween